What's up, YouTube? It's Ray from Philly on this uh, Tuesday night, February 13th, 2018. And I'm doing a video response for a contest for a new tuber named Psyched on Baseball Cards. And I wrote his name down here on a piece of paper. It's P S Y C H apostrophe D, Psyched on Baseball Cards. And I'll put his, post this link down below. Um, he's, I think, got about 60 some subscribers right now. It's something that I enjoy because it's vintage cards, graded PSA vintage cards, which I really enjoy. So make sure you check him out. Uh, his contest requires uh, that you do uh, a question, you know, share your most favorite baseball memory of what got you hooked on into baseball, um, and then show your favorite players' cards from that era. For me, I'm you know I'm going to be 51 this Thursday. My birthday's coming up in two days. Um, so I started watching baseball at eight years old. It was 1975, and um, I've shared this experience before with you guys. Uh, the first game I ever watched on TV was the Game 6 of the 75 World Series between um, the Big Red Machine, the Cincinnati Reds, versus the Boston Red Sox, and it was Game 6 where Carlton Fisk hit the game-winning homer to tie that series up. And then from there on out, I was, you know, hooked on baseball. Another great memory was the 1980 World Series where my Philadelphia Phillies, who I followed religiously my whole childhood, uh, my favorite player of all time is Mike Schmidt. And I watched that series and I was at game six of the 1980 World Series and the Phillies won their first ever world championship. So for a lot of you young guys out there right now that just experienced the Eagles winning their first Super Bowl championship, that's how it was for me when I saw the Phillies win their first ever World Series in 1980. Uh, and I was there for the parade and I was there for game six, seeing Tug McGraw strike out Willie Wilson. So those are my two biggest, uh, and I have many, many other memories, but they're the first two that come to mind. Um, so uh, make sure you check him out, Psyched on Baseball Cards. He's got a lot of good uh, graded cards. Uh, he's doing the 1960 Hall of Fame set and uh, Al Kaline. So check him out. So I'm going to flip the phone around. And, and my favorite players are in my display cases. And I, it's a, I hate getting the keys and unlocking them. So I'm just going to flip the phone around and go up to the display cases and show like three or, three or four or five of my favorite players uh, from that era. So hold on. All right, and we're back, and uh, of course I'm going to show my first favorite player of all time, which is Mike Schmidt. That's his 73 Tops rookie card. Try and get rid of that glare. So he's my first favorite player from that era. Uh, after that, it's uh, I would say it's Reggie Jackson's my second favorite player. That's his rookie card from '69. I don't have any graded cards of Jackson from the '70s, although. Um, I do have the uh, PSA set registry basic set for Mike Schmidt. That's this display case here. And I was thinking about doing another PC of another player. And I was thinking about having it to do uh, Reggie Jackson. So I already have his rookie card. And I was thinking about just getting from 70 up to 87 uh, to, to do uh, all the graded cards for Reggie Jackson, which would be Topps, Donerson, Fleer. Shouldn't be that difficult. <clears throat> uh, after that, my next favorite player is... Uh, Bonds, but Bonds really wasn't from that era. And then Ripken, and he's really not from the 70s. So then after that, I would say it's these two guys right here, which would be the George Brett and uh, Robin Yell. Uh, there's their two rookie cards there, 70, 75 tops Brett in the 6.5 and the 75 tops Yell in the 8. Um, then I guess after that, uh, I'm just trying to think I lost track of who else. Uh, and I guess after that, Winfield was another great player in the 70s. So there you have it. Uh, this is for Psyched on Baseball Cards uh, contest video response for his contest. Uh, make sure you check him out. I think the contest deadline is next Friday, February 23rd, and the drawing is the 24th. All right, guys, I appreciate all your likes and comments. And again, remember to check out Psyched on Baseball Cards and uh, keep on collecting. Late tour.